Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna show you my online portfolio that I used to get my first job as a web developer all right so let's check what what do I have in here so this is the website I'm just gonna refresh the page so you can see so you see we got a small animation saying tell us some bio designer and front-end web developer we got a hero image i think i have done this this website in um, 2015 or 2016 something like this uh, so we got in here my name on the top a small navigation bar as you can see this is nothing too fancy okay this is just a straightforward got some image a bit of a small parallax effect in here another another uh animation look as i'm scrolling down look it's just a small animation we got my name in here uh from manchester what i'm working on my experience at the time i was learning a bit of angular and i was learning php as well i put my skills uh and in here portfolio this is something that i talk to you guys about like all the time that you, you don't need to have a lot of projects just choose pick your best three okay because whoever is going to go to your website and check your your code your projects they don't want to lose too much time in there right they are just going to check maybe one or two projects in there so don't put like six eight ten or whatever just choose three of them look this is exactly what i had when I was um, when I was going for my first job so I remember all of these projects that I have in here I have them like from that um, uh, Udacity Nano degree that I did back then probably if I was gonna do it now I would I would go for the treehouse tech degree that I, I mention all the time because I think they are getting better now than the Udacity Nano degree but this is the projects that I had in there. One of them was about the Google Maps API. I, I, I'm thinking about actually doing a, um, a video about how to build like a Google Maps API. So this is something that uh, could be interesting. So if I click on it, this is another thing that I'm telling you guys all the time. It's not just putting, just putting a... Um, a project there like uh, oh this is a project well you need to put like some kind of text like talking about what is this project about uh, what kind of technology did, did you use look for example I put in here in these small uh, in these small uh, squares buttons or whatever you want to call it I was using knockout JS a at the time I think it was 2000 look 2015 all rights reserved I think it was around 2015 2016 when I made this portfolio website so knockout JS was very popular at that time I was using Ajax jQuery and Google Maps API and then in here in the bottom I had like a link to the actual project if I was gonna click on it now I think it's not live anymore if I was gonna click on it it was going to that uh, uh, website and then I have the github in here that if I can open yeah you can go in here and still check like my projects uh, so this is this was one of them if I go back to home uh, I had this like two 2d game development so look this is another good thing when I hover with my mouse you can just see like okay what what's this project about this is a 2d game development using javascript uh, object-oriented programming and html canvas you can click to see the case study uh, again look just like uh, to see how the, the the game would look like on a on a desktop on a tablet a little bit of a description about the game uh, again uh, click for the website to check the game or the github uh, i think i don't have them yeah I have them only on github but um, yeah as you can see very very simple and th this was actually the project I'm, I'm talking about all the time 
uh, this was the project that uh, kind of helped me get my first job because this was like a, a project to uh, help speed up the page speed up the page and make sure that the page was loading fast with uh, with good uh, frames per second so this was this one the website optimization I talk about this in one of my last videos saying about what kind of HTML CSS jobs you can get and this was for a conversion rate optimization uh, position that I was I was working as a front-end web developer but this was like the kind of a job title so yeah look look at this I'm going back very simple very simple just a simple animation uh, get in touch mm, a picture of me in here look if I click it scrolls down to the contact uh, this is like the the contact page in here um, and that's it look just a little bit down in here and I had some links in here oh, look not even all of them I didn't have any Twitter at the time this was my Facebook Twitter, the github um, so that's it that's it uh, simple and uh, easy you know just a little bit about myself just the portfolio a contact if someone wants to contact me directly I had learned how to do this with PHP at the time I remember and uh, basically that's it uh, for all of you guys that you are you wanted to do um, a portfolio website you don't have to do anything fancy make sure this is something that I, I talk about all the time is if you are building your online portfolio to uh, to apply for your first job please don't use any WordPress don't use any any bootstrap or anything like this just just code it everything from zero like uh, using regular HTML CSS and JavaScript because you want to show them that you can build websites and this is something really important um, and I think that's it guys I actually haven't reviewed any any video lately on uh, or like uh, portfolios of my subscribers so this is your chance okay if you want me to review your portfolio website uh, and to just give you like a critique what can you improve what you could change on my based on my opinion um, just put down in here on the on the comment section your uh, your uh, your portfolio and uh, that's it I'll, I'll make a video about it I actually ha haven't done one for a long time so um, yeah that's it for this video guys I, I hope you like this kind of video and if you like it make sure that you give me a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if this is your first video and I'll see you in the next one.